And uh, I can tell you, despite the pandemic, it has been quite a, quite a ride in uh, 2021 as well as 2020. It started right after the uh, initial lockdowns. And uh, <clears throat> if I look at the numbers uh, today, we are about 70.9% ahead of 2020 on the sales front and 96% uh, ahead on 2019. Uh, if I look at the last 12 years of activity, we are about 132% ahead. So as you rightly said, I think uh, the yachting is going through a, quite a, an impressive boom. And I think that was triggered by the pandemic and the needs for, uh, for many people like all of us to, uh, to, to escape and experience something new. So what sort of price escalation are we seeing in the sector? I mean, we talk about super yachts that can come with many different bespoke options from what uh, spas on the back to a certain helicopter uh, landing pads. There's all sorts of accessories you can add on. So what sort of price hikes and uh, what sort of behaviours are we seeing on the purchasing side? Well, at this point of time, I have to say the market is, is rather stable. We don't see any inflation in prices at this yet on the second hand market. And the same applies to the new build. Uh, it's pretty stable. Of course, there is a, a slight increase of price per tonnage for the new bill in, in due, due to the uh, the current struggle to get some of the parts from uh, from Asia, essentially. But overall, I think the market is rather stable. And um, and uh, when it comes to what you can get or not get on board yet, I think uh, uh, for many, the skies has no limit. Uh, as long as you remain within uh, uh, the, the technical restrictions and requirements, as you rightly said, the uh, helipad is obviously something which many yachts have today, but also some add uh, uh, parking for their submarine or other such items which make the uh, the yacht even more even more exciting, uh, if I may say. Yeah, Rafael, I wouldn't touch a, a, a boat that didn't have parking for my submarine. Um, <laughs> but, but that aside, but that aside, what could scupper this market? The growth is quite extraordinary at the moment across the board as well. What is the danger that could actually limit this huge boom you're seeing? Well, clearly, uh, we, we are likely to see a, a lack of inventory going into 2022, uh, at, at least on the second hand market. Furthermore, uh, even though the shipyard have seen a surge of over 25% growth over the last two years, uh, clearly now, if you'd like to have a new build, uh, you need to wait three to four years. So you will get your boat in, uh, in, uh, in 2020. 526. So clearly we may end up having a, a lack of inventory. That being said, so many boats are being built today. So we will have an additional inventory coming to the market within the next two years. So what I foresee a slowdown somewhat next year, uh, the eagerness of our clients to buy boats is still there. Uh, and it may be challenging to find them the right boat. And this leads me to tell you that probably the charter market uh, will see an additional boom going forward. Uh, obviously, uh, whoever cannot get a boat yet will most likely turn into the charter market, which has already seen a surge of requests over the last two years. I mean, ourselves at Fraser, we have more than 40% new customers coming into charter market, which is a very huge number. We normally have 16 to 20% newcomers every year, but we doubled it. So there's clearly an, uh, a desire to go on the boat today. 